Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today we're going to make this cool little sliding desktop calendar. Check it. So I have this piece of 1 8 inch white acrylic I'm going to throw in the laser cutter here. This part is going to get cut. These pieces are going to get cut and then these little numbers here are going to be engraved. <laughs> I got this beautiful piece of walnut here. Randy from Gobi Walnut sent this to me. I'm just gonna sand it down using the drum sander. Now that I got that sanded nice and smooth, it's a little too big to fit in the laser, so I'm just gonna cut the end off here. Maybe we can find a use for that. Maybe a corner piece. All right, so I'm just gonna take some blue painter's tape and protect the outside of this before we engrave it. And what that is gonna do is it's gonna burn away the tape. It's going to engrave the wood and it's gonna allow me to take some spray paint into that engraved marks, pull the tape off, and we got a beautiful walnut engraved calendar. <laughs> Let's take this outside and spray paint those numbers white. Kelly hates it when I paint on this table. Sorry, Kelly. Yeah, just flood it. <laughs> this is not how you spray paint, kids. That's the most spray paint I've ever seen on anything. <laughs> I, I know. All right, we'll let that dry for three or four days. Since there's so much paint on there, I'm afraid if I peel back this tape, it might just pull the paint out of the, out of the little crevices. So I'm going to sand it a little bit just to kind of break up those edges there, then pull off the tape. So fingers crossed. Hopefully this works. Everything is an experiment. And in the place where you live. All right, let's see if this works. So I'm going to sand this down. Don't have the final design in mind just yet, but what I'm thinking is I'm going to line this up and then I'm going to draw a line here and draw a line here. And then we'll take this over to the table saw and then we'll... I keep debating on how I want to do this. And this is the piece that I just cut off. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking this, where this sits on top of that piece, and then this sits on there, and then I can slide this back and forth. Cut a little dado in there, dado, cut a little dado, 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 and daddyo, daddy -o, and that will fit in there, and this will have a little groove to slide in. Maybe also do a little pencil holder on the front here. Cut a little angle so the whole thing sits back and just use the same piece, even with its little flaws in there and the little rough, I like, I kinda like, I kinda like some of that. So let's just riff off of that for a little bit. I decided to go against the dado stack and instead I have a flat bottom grind blade in there and the dado stack's just a pain in the ass to put in there. As Eric says, it's a pain in the dick. So uh, I'm just gonna cut little grooves, knock over the fence, cut more grooves. I can then sneak up on the right size cut. This piece will fit in there, and then this guy can slide in there. How badass is that? What I wanted to do is cut the bottom at an angle, so this sits at an angle, and the whole, the whole thing will rest back. 
and I'm setting it up on the table saw and I don't have a good safe way to do it on the table saw. So then I moved over to the bandsaw and was tilting the table and then I don't have a way to ride up against the fence with the equipment that I have. So the solution I have is I'm gonna take a little dowel and I'm going to tape it on there. And so now this sits at an angle. I'm going to run this through the drum sander and then sand the bottom flat. I've never done this. Everything is an experiment. Next, we're gonna cut the pieces to length. We're gonna ride a little groove to hold a pencil or a pen, and then we're gonna glue it together. thank my top supporters this week over on Patreon, and that's Evan and Caitlin, Jediah Schultz, Mark Fink, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Bears Wood, Ryan Petzold, Jason Hughes, George Ann Reeve, Carl Brink, Glenn Rossiter, Adam Beckwith, Bill Deal, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, and Timothy Allen. Over on Patreon, we give something away every week, and this week, we are giving away this calendar. Last week, we gave away a box of woods. So visit patreon.com slash to find out how you can support me and get involved in the free giveaways. All right, let's get back to this project and finish it up. Oil, linseed oil, BLO. Not to be confused with BTO. Or ELO. Or EMF. Got a coat of boiled linseed oil on there. Let's take this outside and put some spray lacquer on it. So there are certain months of the year where the last digit wraps around to the bottom. And since we don't have room for that, I made these little double digit numbers over on the laser cutter. I probably need to paint those numbers in there, but this can work as the 24th and the 31st. This could work on your desktop. I have a little place to hold your pencils or pens. All right, thank you for watching. I put out new videos every Thursday. Also check me out on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be back at you next week. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make, make something. something.